Western Seagulls. Calibration going on. There is a LCD that will show that correctly calibration is going on. After it is done, it will take the operation to show that. Show the operation. Just after the switch to operational mode. It will switch to operational. Now it has switched to operational mode. Now we can it has switched to operational mode. Now the PC can control the entire system. Sir, now you can see it. He's controlling it from the Oh, okay, okay. It is bounded in a rectangle of 540 plus 260. And I can control the movement. Change the position by 0.5 okay. millimeter. There are multiple input formats. I can either input from the clickable buttons on the GUI app okay. or through keyboard. Okay. Like I can control the servo windows, I can control the Z axis movement. As soon as, as I leave, it stops. So control some movement now. Say which movement will you start now? I'm controlling, I'm just increasing the y so 5.5 okay so increase the so y this terminal actually is it, this is the x axis this is the y axis okay x axis y axis okay it is only increasing the y part right now oh. so this point okay these two motors work in combination so that this okay. point can increase the, uh, increase the y axis. wonderful wonderful now i can i am decreasing the x axis by okay. 0.5 okay so decrease the x axis yeah, so x axis is getting decreased by 0.5. Okay. Now it is put in such a way that it always follows the angle which comes from the outside. away away from the object. Suppose the object okay. is kept there. Okay. So it follows the movement such that the Okay, the, so, but the movement of the locator remains the same. The yeah, position yes, of the exactly. locator remains the same. Now I can other in the the now, now, are. you what you do one thing, just z-axis you just put down so that it is in a position to pick up. This is the least. Okay. Least not go beyond this. Okay, wonderful, wonderful. So move it up, move it up, so that as if it has been picked up. Okay, so now it is moving up. And this thing has least count of 20 microns. Wonderful. Yeah. Yeah. So it is moving up, right? Again. Okay. So again, move it along the z-axis, y-axis. Y-axis. Yeah. Increasing the y. Okay. Five point five. So increase the y. In the y direction. Okay. Fine. 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 So again, move the x. This is minus x. Okay. Okay. Rahul. Okay. I can even control the gimbal, the servo gimbal. Yeah, 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 do it, do it, do it, do it. Okay, okay, right, 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 right. So moving the servo, yeah, 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 right. Yeah, oh, that's wonderful. Good. That's I can wonderful. The band and the movement of the servo. Okay, that's wonderful, that's wonderful. So every time change the uh, changing the coordinate sends the data to another program using Unix socket. Okay. And about the position, the x-axis, z-axis and y-position coordinates. Okay. And even the third, tilt and and angle of the servo window. Okay, okay, okay. And another way of inputting data to this is through another socket program. Okay. So I implemented a two-way socket in this. So you can send, you can move the point at any coordinate on the positive the y axis. Suppose I want to go to minus 250, comma 0, comma 100, and angle will be minus 60 and minus 60 for the panel. 
okay so you are giving an absolute value to it okay till now you are doing relatively but now you are putting an ex absolute value oh wonderful wonderful so he just entered the absolute value oh wonderful wonderful and he also have given a certain value for the pan and tilt yes sir oh. and even for the z axis wonderful 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 